We are average, everyday people trying to figure out how to do the job, just like there are people out there in the community. They're trying to figure out, how do I get my kid to handle the remote learning? How do I do whatever job it is that I have to do? And how do I function in this life where everything's changed? So we try to, to do, in Westchester County, the things that people in Westchester County did for themselves as well. So now we come into this year, boy, do we have a tough budget. From March on, we don't know what to expect. We were fortunate. We were fortunate that the federal government through the CARES Act was able to provide resources that we could use to help us balance our budget. But that takes care of 2020. It doesn't take care of 21 to the greater extent. We were fortunate that there was a rally in the, you know, in the country and we started to see better than worst case scenario revenue numbers. At the end of the day, if we can deliver a tax reduction in a year where people knew that we had a tough time, that is to the credit not just me, but it's, it's the credit of all of us that we were prepared to try to fulfill the commitment that was made. I made a commitment before the pandemic that we would freeze property taxes for two years in a row. We could do that on the basis of revenue that we received. Last year, we were able to improve on that by reducing property taxes, and we honored a commitment that we made. We recognized that in this moment where people were assessing their lives in light of the pandemic, that some number of people might want to say, you know what, this is a good time for me to leave the workforce. And we gave people a financial incentive, but we didn't force them. We didn't say, you must take this or, or you're going to be fired with no benefit. It told everybody else in the government, you are valued. If you can structure your proposals, your plans, with everybody's thought in mind, you get the maximum buy-in. And that's what we've had as we go into this budget. We have a buy-in where we know our capital projects are necessary. It can help people be employed at the same time we protect our assets. We get a buy-in with not-for-profits that shows that, no, we're not going to devastate them because we have some difficulties. Then you come to the budget period of time, and now you're looking at the budget as a policy document, not just as, well, we have to keep the numbers low in order to uh, reduce taxes. You wind up having your financial people come back to you saying, George, you've given us the flexibility. We think through these actions, these activities, we can keep your property taxes down. And that's where we stand with this budget. We have a much better budget than anybody had a right to expect, or did I, the end of March. We can't wave away taxes. That's, that's just not possible in the society. But in addition to cutting them, we can also forestall the date. All of those things basically say this. We're neighbors in this county, and we're not going to turn our back on our neighbors and say, hey, you know what? Sorry, you know, we can't help you. No. We can help you, and the way we set the tax levy and the way we set the level of services is a reflection of that.